hey guys today we will be going with starch starch is basically made up of amylose and amylopectin so let's start with amylose in this video you just have to remember the alpha d glucose structures amylose and amylopectin are basically made up of it so let's start first of all we will make a pyran this is our pyran we will link it with this remember how it is we will make another pyran there that's our another pyran and joining it with the same link again but it goes on multiplying so i'll make a symbol like this like uh, it multiplies over here and same over here that it multiplies over here and now we have to fill it up like our pyrans uh, here it's h and here's uh, it h so we will make oh here that is different ones and if OH is here, then we will make H over here. Okay, same we have to fill over here. This is our amylose. Okay, and amylose is basically made up of 200 to 1000 alpha D glucose units okay now let's start with amylopectin uh, again you have to remember those alpha d glucose structures so we will make our first pyran here okay join it with this link amylose and amylopectin are different in cases of link amylose basically have only this one link joining e the other alpha d glucose structures but here we have two linkages like this is the first one and I'll show you the next one. This is our next pyran and see here this is the first link and just check on with this second link. Okay, we will make our next pyran over here. Okay, this is CH2. As you know that uh, CH2OH is here, right? Check this position okay ch2 o h okay this is you uh, like how you have to remember it and we will connect it with another pyrans like this same as here okay now let's make another pyran other pyrans too this is our oxygen okay i'll make that it multiplies over here, it multiplies over here, it will uh, multiply over here also. This is how our amylopectin is. And let's fill up other things too. The other things are similar, okay? This, it multiplies over here. This is our amylopectin. Okay. Amylopectin is basically polymer of alpha d glucose units okay you have to remember this thing and it's super easy just remember the alpha d glucose structure thank you for watching